So you're just getting into streaming and you only have one monitor and you're trying to figure out how am I going to keep up with chat, with alerts and events, and be able to game at the same time. Today I've got a solution for you. Stick around. It's pretty neat. I think you're going to like it. Before we get into today's video, I just want to say thank you for stopping by. I'm Cyrus and I'm here to improve the streaming experience not only for you, but also for your viewers. If you enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like this video, as well as ring that bell for notifications so you don't miss content like this. Go ahead and check me out on Twitch. I stream three days a week and would love for you to stop by and be a part of my chat and join the Darkness Discord. The link for that's in the description below. We have a great community that would love to be able to be helping you and for you to be able to come and join us. And with that out of the way, let me show you something that's going to change your streaming experience if you're a single monitor streamer. So this actually isn't an added extension or anything new, but a lot of people aren't using it or they haven't found it yet. And I want to make sure that you guys know exactly where to find it to put it on your monitor to make your experience easier. So what we're going to need first is Streamlabs OBS. Now, yes, I am a dedicated OBS user. I do not use Streamlabs OBS. I transitioned out of that a long time ago. However, if I'm a person that is on one single monitor, this is so good that I would definitely switch back to make this a part of my setup. So I'm gonna take you over into Streamlabs OBS and show you how to get that set up and what it looks like on the screen. So let's jump over in the PC and I'll show you how to set it up. All right, so we're over in Streamlabs OBS. If you don't already have this, check the description. I'll go ahead and put a link for it as well as a link for how to set up OBS, this version, Streamlabs OBS in 30 minutes to make sure that you have the best experience. And I'll put that again in the description. But I'm gonna show you how to set this up very quickly and uh, show you in a game as well as on the desktop so that you can see what it looks like. All right, so to do this, go ahead and hit settings in the bottom left corner and you wanna go down to game overlay. You wanna make sure that this is turned on, so enable it. Make sure show chat is turned on as well as show recent events. And toggle positioning mode actually gives you the boxes to where you can move them around. Like this is my recent event box. I'm gonna put it up in the top left hand corner and I'm also going to take my chat box and move it up into the top right hand corner for now but I can always change those even in the middle of the game if I need them to move or I switch games midstream the uh, overall opacity is how opaque or how clear or transparent each of those are it's default at 30 however I've had a better experience with it around 40 or 50 so I'm gonna leave it at 30 so you can see what that looks like and I'm actually gonna turn off toggle positioning mode which will take it away step two we actually have to go set up hotkeys so on this same settings page, you're going to click on hotkeys. And one of these settings about, I don't know, seven or eight down is toggle in game overlay. I want you to set a hotkey for this. You can even put it on something like your stream deck to put it to a specific key, etc. So I want to actually go ahead and program this. I put mine to scroll lock and then I also can do the positioning mode like what we saw uh, just a moment ago. I'm going to put that to shift scroll lock. That's just me. It's a button that I'm not using on the computer. I'm, I'm, you troll me in the comments if you think that's going to be horrible. But anyway, I'm going to put it on both of these. And now on my keyboard, when I hit scroll lock, you might not be able to see it. It's very faint, but it is opaque right here. This is this would be the recent events. And you see my chat right there. Let me make the actual Streamlabs chat go away. You can see it's very careful there. And if I type in my chat, you can see I typed hello world and it pops up very opaque. And again, if I hit shift scroll lock, which was my hotkey, while I'm clicked on that window, it'll allow me to be able to reposition those as depending on what game I'm in. So I'm actually going to jump into a couple of games so you can see what it looks like. And I'm actually gonna have to play with the uh, opacity and I'll go ahead and tell you what those are in each of the games as I'm going through so that you can see what it looks like. So let's jump in those and we'll see what it looks like. All right, we're over in Apex Legends now. And what you can see is I still have the chat up in the upper right hand corner and the events in the upper left. And I'm not live right now. And I actually don't know how to make it trigger an event other than have someone actually follow me so you're not going to see it on the left side but on the right side you can see the chat and you can tell like i was saying earlier 30 is kind of um I don't know it's just a little too translucent so it's kind of hard to see so what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to tab over into streamlabs obs and i'm going to change that i do believe that i liked about 50 and let's just go ahead and tab back into apex and we can see that it's a little bit more easier to read but it's still not killing my entire visibility for gameplay and the truth is you could probably turn off um, any of these you don't have to necessarily use the chat you don't have to necessarily use the uh 
the recent events so whatever works for you uh is pretty good so again like apex legends i think 50 percent is fantastic um but whatever you think works for you would be amazing all right let's jump into another game i'll show you over there all right so we're actually over in among us now and i'm running around and you can see that the chat is still peeking through i'll be able to read that as well as still be able to see everything on the map before i literally get wiped out by someone even though i'm playing solo right now it's just my luck with this game but anyway what again it's overlaid right here and uh I just wanted to go ahead and show you in a game another couple of games that are popular and see what you think. Uh, one thing I'm noticing in this one is actually positioning mode is not really working all of that well where I was actually doing my shift scroll lock. So I'm actually having to tab out into Among Us to reposition it. So just know that there's a couple of games that it's a little weird with, but I can turn it on just fine. All right, and a couple of things I wanna close out with are just a couple of problems I've noticed and I want you to be able to be aware of them with this, some of the limitations that you might have. So first thing is, is make sure that if you're going to use this that you don't use display capture display capture is actually how you were able to see them on this recording it was because I was recording my main display and piping it through OBS but when you do that in Streamlabs OBS everyone's gonna see your chat as well as your events on the screen and if you want that to happen great otherwise stick with window capture or stick with game capture. Uh, Streamlabs OBS has a really intuitive game capture, which actually finds the game that's there and goes ahead and attaches it when you're switching games. Uh, it's not for every game, but it works for most games. So I would definitely stick with window or the game capture and not display capture. The second thing is it looks like you can actually interact with the chat or interact with the mini feed that pops up. However, I haven't been able to actually get my cursor to click inside any of the one of those so if you wanted to scroll through what your top gifters or your top cheers or if you want to actually replay one of your uh, one of your feeds that came in one of your alerts you're actually gonna to have to go into OBS to do that you're not gonna be able to do it directly from the overlay it's merely just for viewing and the last thing I would say is just the program itself Streamlabs OBS is a great program it's got a lot of stuff baked into it but it does use a lot of resources compared to OBS and I'm sure there's people in the comments they're going to roast me on the difference between the two because they're diehard one or the other. I just know from my experience, OBS uses a little less resources on the computer, allowing your computer to have a much better streaming experience as well. So uh, if you can get used to Streamlabs OBS or if you're already using it, this is a great opportunity to add it. Um, even if you're using multiple monitors, I see a benefit here when you're gaming to not have to look left or right and you have it directly on the screen in front of you where you're gaming to be interactive with your Twitch audience or whatever platform's audience that you're streaming to. And that'll wrap the video up, guys. Let me know if you need anything. Make sure you jump into Twitch as well as Discord. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, all that stuff that's awesome. Check out my Twitter. Um, I'm trying to be more active over there. So uh, yeah, hop over there and see what we're doing. Anyway, hope you guys are doing awesome. Enjoy your day. And as always, I'm Osiris and welcome to the darkness. We'll catch you next time.